So the assembly, we've got all our pieces, and the idea is to make, uh, create two separate sprays that look like this one here. Okay, so this is one that I've already put together. And we're going to create the second one. So the taping, we're going to take a little bit of white tape and start, let's move this out of the way so you've got a decent background to see, with my smallest piece, which is my buds. Then I'm going to nestle my berries slightly lower down. So this gives me length, but also I'm starting to broaden the arrangement. And the idea when I make mine are, uh, I always start off trying to create a rough triangle shape. So we've got this kind of triangle shape going on here. And then the main flower goes at the end of the triangle shape. But I also divide my, my selection of flowers that I've made into either two piles or three piles so that I know I've got enough to make the number of sprays that I need. So mostly things divided into two piles and that's what I've done here. So tape down a, quite a long way, probably about um, two inches. And then you can add the sea holly in. Now the sea holly, you need to bend it. So I'll just use my nail just to guide that bend. It's about an inch from the top. And when I sit that in, it'll come down a little way and sit on like so. Now, the idea here is that you want to not only create a triangular shape this way, okay, you also want to have it so that you've got a triangular shape this way, so you're sloping. So not everything is just in flat, okay? That would be too flat and not interesting at all. So we, I like to bend the heads of my flowers so they would go in and then you get this lovely kind of angle going up as a triangle as well as sideways. I'll pop a bit of tape on there. And again, you can get in there with your nails to clean and tidy that up. I'm going to come down probably about two inches. Can you see how my tape has twisted over? You must be careful not to allow it to do that. Or if you do, you have to be patient and unravel it. So we'll just take that a little bit more. I like to tape everything in quite close as well so that I don't have huge gaps. I mean, we've got gaps for the butterflies by all means, but don't make it so you can see all the stems. Okay, so that's my arrangement there. And we've got a second one coming. And now I want to put my hydrangeas together. Now, the idea on the hydrangeas is that is going to be my main flower in the center. So I'm just going to put those together with a little bit of a gap showing. Probably about an inch down on here. They're taped in green because they were used in a different spray. So I've pulled something apart to get these bits today to save me a little bit of time. Um, I could tape them down in white if I wanted to. Sorry, I'm not sure if you saw that. So I've just added a third one in. If you're doing a huge dome, then you just carry on taping everything in at that point. And I'm just going to put a fourth one in there. So we've got a bundle. And they're all nicely tightly packed and different petals are positioned in different ways. So it makes it interesting, but there's no real gappy sections in there. I'm going to take that down just a little bit more. Well, the email with the video link um, and the kit list attached and the contact details for West Wickham will come out during the next couple of days. Just give us a, a, a couple of days to get it all formatted and sent out to you. And uh, if you've got any questions, the email, uh, the emails will be on there. So feel free to, to ask any questions. And if you are interested in joining West Wickham or um, joining one of their Dems, then uh, you can speak to Sheila. Um, and if you'd like to join some of our online classes, you can, um, get in touch with me and I will 
I'll send you a link to a, the classes for next year, but there's lots more going on. Um, not everything's on the website at the moment. So here we go. We've got uh, two side triangular sprays and what I'm describing as the main flower. And the idea now is to connect all three of these items together. So I'm just going to pick one spray, which will be this one. And I'm going to position, find a way to get this. I think I'll probably bend it about here. Uh, just connected to um, my main stem that the sea holly and this is attached to. Sometimes you get a bit, I get a bit worried because I'm going to break something, but we want things fairly tight. It doesn't matter if you can't see everything all at once, because the idea is that you want some interest. It's a bit like looking at a painting. The more you look at something, the more you discover. And then when I'm um, looking at this, I want to now just have a look to see how that might go together. And if I look at that, I think that will go quite nicely together. Pretty. It's amazing, isn't it? Um, so here, where it's bent, that's where I'm going to tape. Just up here. This is where you've got to concentrate because your tape is going to fold on you because really at this stage you've got a thick enough stem to be able to um, go up to a full width of tape. Um, but the half width, to be honest, if you've only got that, I think it's the most useful. Okay, now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to adjust the camera angle slightly so that you can see me a bit better. Oops. Just get myself straightened up here. Sorry, guys. There we go. That's better, isn't it? We can see now. Get out of the way. Okay, so on here, I want to put this spray onto uh, the main spray with the hydrangeas. However, if you look at the back, you can see the wires in the wrong direction. So we've got one wire poking one way and one wire poking the other. So what I do is I will turn this into the spray, check it from the front that I'm happy with how it's going to look. And then I look at the back and where my finger's waggling now on here, that is where I'm going to bend the wire because that's where it crosses on the wire. So it happens to be where the sea holly is. So if I hold on to the sea, to, to this part of the stem here, which has got your buds and your berries on and bend it right back on itself and then get the sea holly and bend that right back on itself as well. The idea is to bend it back on itself so that the spray looks the same as it did before, but now my wire is went right back on itself. So when I now position that into the arrangement that we're creating, the wires are the same direction, okay? And that's the bit that everyone gets a bit kind of, oh, how do we do this? Um, a bit fiddly now so I just need to check that I'm happy with where everything is and I am so now if you press hard on these two stems they should stick together momentarily enough time for you to be able to get that tape round and this is the bit that's quite tricky you just need to be careful at this stage all this work you really don't want to drop this um, and we have had it, we've had people attending a course for four days and at, they happen to be walking around trying to put this together, we get to this stage. It's only actually happened twice in 20 years, but we do ask people to sit down at this point and maybe work on a soft cloth because as you break this tape, sometimes the jolt can make the flower fall out of your hands, the spray fall out of your hands and you end up... Um, uh, dropping it and everything smashes which is horrendous and um, we did have that one poor girl she spent weeks making this arrangement and it all smashed to the ground I felt so bad for her there was nothing we could do it was absolutely smashed no photos nothing <laughs> 
So I always say, before you let go of a cake, always take a picture. Before you transport creation, always take a picture as, um, as a memory of what you've made or even as evidence that it left you in one full piece. <laughs> okay. So we're nearly there. Um, I'm just going to take the last bit down a little way. I am going to trim this. I'll just show you how to trim it. I'm just going to put on there, everyone on mute just for a moment. I've got a pair of wire cutters here that I can just carefully trim through those uh, excess wires. And as I've cut the end, you can see the wires are exposed in there. So the last thing I want to do is just fold a little bit of tape over the end. And then if I clean my board off, and now's the time to just tweak it so that you've got everything where you want it to be. And there you have your arrangement. It's been an absolute pleasure. You've been a lovely audience. And I know I would certainly wish you a very happy Christmas. And uh, let's hope we get to see you all again in the new year. Over to you, Sheila. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Hannah. You, there, there are a couple of questions people are asking, but they can you can answer those in just a moment. I want to thank you so much for this. We have really enjoyed it. If everybody unmutes themselves, they can all say, Thank you and Merry Christmas. Thank you, uh, thank you Hannah. Thank you very thank much. You, thank you, Merry Christmas. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Beautiful. What a Gorgeous. Thank you, Hannah. Lovely demo. Thank you very much. Thank you so much.